Hi, this is Roger. Thanks for dropping by. You have to bear with me. I'm playing games with the camera. Um, I've ordered a clip-on microphone. Um, I've been looking at other videos and interrogations of this camera and its various functions, and it's become very apparent that <laughs> I am the lazy toad and I leave my camera on auto all the time. And I thought, well, hang on. This has got two good microphones on it. And when you start looking at what they actually are, frequency range and stuff like that, to get an external mic, you suddenly start, the cost starts going up a little bit to get something like what's already there or better. Anyway, um, I found a really good video that actually goes through the menus and actually shows that this camera has actually got other settings. Um, it's got a music setting distance, ambient setting, various settings apart from auto. It's also got custom, which the guy goes into. And do you think I could flip and get custom to come up on the menu? But I eventually worked out that the camera needs to be on manual to be able to play with all the controls. Well, it seems reasonable, doesn't it, if it's set to auto? <laughs> anyway, so I've switched the camera onto manual, gone into the menu settings and gone into custom and done what the guy said, because he said the auto settings on this camera bump up the actual recording level so loud that the software has to compress it, which means you're not getting a pure sound. Um, by switching it to um, manual control, you can then adjust the audio level. This is the same as turning your volume control up or down. And as we all know, if you turn your volume control on various things up too loud, you get distortions. And a decent bit of software behind that will compress it to stop the distortion, and then it's not a pure sound. So this is being recorded on that setting, yeah? And the idea is that you now get a dynamic range. So if I speak really quietly, it should sound quietly. And if I speak normally, it should be normal. Now I'm currently a metre away from the camera and the strange thing about this camera, which is true on most cameras, the two microphones are just behind the lens. They're pointing upwards. <laughs> it does record in stereo effectively. Anyway, I've ordered an external microphone to play with that. Um, and I've used the one that on this guy's video because he said it's a, it's a very good dynamic range and it's one of the few clip-on microphones that comes with a decent lead. Now some of them have a detachable lead so that you could buy an extension or something like that. But a lot of them come with a fixed cable with a plug on the end. And a lot of them have quite short leads, which is limiting. So the one I've ordered, it's a bit over the top, it's actually got a six meter lead. So I can go down the bottom of the garden and still use it, yeah? So I should be able to wander around here I'll probably get tangled up and hook on plants and everything like that. Um, but we'll give it a go when I get it. But what I want to do now is you've been listening to this on this manual mode. I'm now going to stop the camera, switch it back to auto, stand exactly where I am and record a bit more. So I'll be back. Okay, so what we've done now is we've switched the camera back to auto, but... I'm using one of the music scenes, which when the guy on that video went through the various options, this was the one that to me gave a voice the best sound. And it's actually the music setting. That also is logical <clears throat> because your voice has a certain frequency range. Music has a much, much greater range to get the deep basses and the high bits that in a lot of recordings, you can't hear them, but if they're not there, you miss them. <laughs> Works in a recording studio, I've gone into all this. So anyway, this is one of the selected settings, standing in the same place. And the thing that should be most noticeable is the camera will adjust my voice. So I've just spoken really loud and now I'm speaking really quietly. The camera's probably going to take away that dynamics. Now I'm going to set it back to fully auto and see if there's a difference. I'll be back. 
Right, so the camera is now as it always has been. Yeah, um, so this, this is its normal function and its normal sound. Now, if you're listening to, to this on a phone, you're not going to notice any difference on any of these settings because you're limited by the tiny little pipsqueak speaker on your phone. However, if you're listening on headphones, you will have a much better quality sound than you would do on your phone's speaker system. Uh, that's one way of really improving the sound on a phone, because the source sound is actually pretty good on some phones. On some of them, it's flipping excellent, but not through the speaker on the phone. You're never going to get a good sound out of a speaker that's less than half an inch across a centimetre. It ain't going to happen. You will have no dynamic range. You need it's a, the, the age old thing, it doesn't matter how good a sound system is, it will always be let down by its speakers uh, or can be improved up to a limit. So anyway, this is it's the function um, normally. So um, I'll stick this video up and you can have a listen to it. Those that are listening on you know, smart TVs or something with reasonable sound systems should be able to hear a difference and I'm far more into sound than picture quality because of all the music that I played when I was younger and stuff like that. And sound quality is important to me. That's why I could never watch a film on a little tablet or a phone or something like that. You've lost all the sound. It's just gone. It's not there. Now some people don't care because it's the picture they're looking at or the story they're listening to. Uh, yeah, but I care a lot about the quality of the music sound, so it's important to me. And all I'm trying to do is that with this camera, which I have no plans on replacing, <laughs> they've started to sell this one again. It's 800 quid. Now, I didn't pay that for it, but um, <laughs> I got it quite a long time ago. It's a lot of money for a camera. Um, but it is a lot of camera, basically. So, anyway, um, those are the sound things going on. And obviously I'll do another one when I actually get my microphone. Um, that should be here by the weekend, I should think. And then we'll have a go at plugging an external mic in. So, um, you know, and the wire will go round my neck. And, <laughs> and pull plants off the shelves and everything. But um, it should enable me to still have the camera on the tripod and move around and turn my back to the camera without any loss of sound, because several people have complained quite a bit when I've got the camera on the static stand, on the tripod, and I am moving around. You know, I carry on talking, pick up a plant, and the sound goes. Which is fair enough, but with a clip-on mic it should stay there. So, just a bit of fun with the sound, as with the equipment I've got at the moment. And I'm doing this mainly for me, but you're welcome to watch, because I want to listen on my sound system the differences with what I've just done. And then we'll have a go with the microphone when it turns up. Um, let me just pick this up a minute. See, I'm back in normal auto mode now, so I can whisk the camera around. I just wanted to show you that the, the first bloom on the species Miltoniopsis has opened, and I've made the decision based on what Zaina said. Um, and she gave me the plant for a very specific purpose, and she said, let the plant gain some strength before you attempt to get a seed pod. So we'll just let this spike bloom. Um, can stay down there for a bit. I might bring it up here with the other blooming stuff. This is my little display area. The Coneco's opened a few blooms, so if we've got the little splash of purple back again, and I doubt if that's even in focus. It's dawned on me the light level is appalling in here today. Uh, time is getting on in the afternoon, but it shouldn't be getting dark at whatever it is, half past four in the afternoon, should it? But it, oh, it really feels like autumn today. Temperatures drop right down. Miserable day, you've had some rain. Not enough to do any good, but we've had some. So there we go, a bit of sound playing, playing with sound, and um, we'll have a go with the microphone when it turns up and uh, try a couple of settings and see which is best. So, thanks for dropping by. Oh, um, I don't quite know how this happened, but um, I mentioned in a video, whatever day that was posted, that my subscribers had clicked over the 9,900 whoopee heading for the 10k. It's, it's heading up for 930 already in just a day or two. That's, that's the rate that I don't normally get.
So anybody that is part of that, <laughs> those brand new ones, thanks a bunch. This really is working well and we're getting there. And I think we're going to be there an awful lot sooner than I was expecting. So I'll have to check my bank balance to see if I can actually, actually do the giveaway. Oh, I need to be able to afford it, don't I? Yeah. Anyway, see you next time. Thanks for dropping by.